Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can you design drop shape by using simple methods. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties. Select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width of your page to 1280 and height to 720 pixels. Then simply left click on this cross icon like this. Now left click on this icon to get fill and stroke menu on the right side of your screen like this. And then left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this one. Now select the rectangle tool with the left click of mouse. Then hold down your control key on the keyboard. Then hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse in this direction to draw a perfect square like this. Then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse like this. And here we have the option for the width and the height. First left click on this lock icon to lock the dimensional parameters. Then set the value of height to 450 pixels and press enter on the keyboard. Now we doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by left clicking on this cross icon. And now we need a stroke color or you can say a boundary color. So hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this black color like this. Now deselect this shape by left clicking on the white area like this. And you can see that this stroke width is almost invisible. So to increase the stroke width simply go to fill and stroke menu. Then go to stroke style. First select your shape with the left click of mouse like this. Then change the unit of width to pixels and set the width to 3 pixels and press enter like this. Now select the circle tool with the left click of mouse and now we have to turn on the snapping options. So left click on this icon to enable the snapping options. Then left click on this icon which says snap nodes, paths and handles. Then left click on this icon which says snap to rectangle corners like this. Then move your mouse at this corner of the rectangle and hold down your left mouse button and then drag your mouse towards this corner like this. Then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and select both of these shapes like this. Then go to path and select combine. Now go to object and select transform. In the transform menu simply go to rotate and set the value of angle to 45 degrees and press enter. Scroll down and here we have the option for the apply. Simply left click on this like this one. Now again select the rectangle tool with the left click of mouse then hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse in such a way that it covers the whole body like this and assign some solid color like this red color. Now again select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and left click on this icon which says lower selection to bottom like this. Now again select both of these shapes like this then go to path and select division. Now deselect all of these shapes by left clicking on the white area like this. And now we can delete the unwanted parts by holding down the delete key on your keyboard and left clicking on the unwanted part like this. Like this. Like this. And like this. Now this is our drop shape. Now select both of these parts. Go to path and select union. Now simply press delete on the keyboard like this. Now let's continue with the second method of designing the drop shape. So select the circle tool with the left click of mouse. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse in direction like this to draw a perfect circle like this one. Now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse like this and set the value of width to 350 pixels like this one. Now we doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by left clicking on this cross icon like this. Now select the pen tool with the left click of mouse. Now we have to turn on another snapping option which is snap to quadrant points of ellipses like this. Now left click on this quadrant point then again left click at this quadrant point and press enter on the keyboard. Then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse like this. Then again go to transform menu and set the rotation angle to 45 degrees and select apply. Now right click and select duplicate and left click on this icon which says 
flip selected objects horizontally like this. Now right click and select duplicate and drag your duplicated copy of the line at this point. Then again left click on this line then right click and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this corner like this. Now we doesn't need these two lines so left click on this one and press delete on the keyboard. Also left click on this one and press delete on the keyboard. Now select all of these shapes then go to path and select combine and drag your object like this. Now select the rectangle tool with the left click of mouse like this then hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse in such a way that it covers the whole body like this and assign it some solid color like this light red color. Then again select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and left click on this icon which says lower selection to bottom like this one. Then select both of these shapes, go to path and select division. Now deselect all of these shapes by left clicking on the white area like this. And now we can delete the unwanted parts by simply selecting the part with the left click of mouse and press delete on the keyboard like this one. Now again select all of these shapes then go to path and select union. Now we doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this cross icon like this. And you can assign it some different colors like this blue color or any color of your choice. Now this is for today's tutorial. If you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and share your thoughts about the design in the comments section. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.